How can I help you? And for a haircut? Um, okay, let me just check our books. Did you have an appointment? No, okay. No, 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 that's okay. I'm just, I'm the only one here. <laughs> and I'm kind of new. So, you know, some people typically don't like walk-ins with someone that's not as experienced. And I, I have an appointment in like 20 minutes. Um, so it would have to be slightly on the quicker side. But, um, I'd be happy to help you if I can. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just like a haircut. Nice little chop. That's easy peasy. I could do that in, yeah, the next 20 minutes. Uh, if it takes a little longer, they can wait. I, um, I know I'm new, but I haven't seen you in here before, and I love meeting new people, and <laughs> you're, I, I would love to, to do your hair. Yeah, thank you. You don't mind that I'm a little inexperienced. Okay. I mean, I, my hair's a little messy today, but I cut it, and I've dyed it, so... I don't know if that says anything about how I trust my own skill. <laughs> so, just a little blunt chop. I won't be able to shampoo you. Is that okay? Typically, I like to shampoo and lather and do the whole experience, but um, your hair looks really clean and healthy. So, if you don't mind, just for time's sake. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Well, you can you can actually just sit, um, and I'll get my tools and stuff. Who is your name? Oh, that's an awesome name. I'm AB. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Are you, um, are you new to the area, or? Well, it's just that it's a pretty small salon, so I, we typically only have, like, the same, you know, people come in and out, and I know all the regulars, so I was just curious. Yeah, a little. Like, yeah, I haven't been here too long. Obviously, I just started this job, but, um, if you have any good recommendations, I would love that. <laughs> Especially any good coffee shops. Sorry, I did not mean to point my scissors at you like that. <laughs> I promise I'm safe. But, um, anyway, I'm rambling. Can I brush your hair a little? It just, it looks perfectly not free, but just to part the process. <laughs> okay. You don't mind if I get a little close to you? Perfect. I don't bite or anything. <laughs> um, why don't you tell me about you? What are you getting a haircut for? Do you have, like, special events? You know, m like, mom or girlfriend, boyfriend, <laughs> whoever tell you it's about time? <laughs> Just just routine? Yeah, I get that. Well, what made you try this particular place? Google. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Well, I am very happy that you chose us and I guess me a little bit, but hopefully you like what I do enough to uh, come back and see me. I can try to get all the, all the little sparse pieces out here. Alright, that looks, that looks great. You look great. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a little distracted. Um, it's nice getting to know you. I am. Um, I'm gonna start off. Do you, shears are kind of like, they look like this. Not like regular scissors, but, um, they kind of lighten your hair a little bit. It's getting warmer out, so it might be nice to make some layers or just make your hair less heavy, you know what I mean? But I don't have to, I can just do the normal, um, like, blunt chop. What do you even say? A little bit of both? Okay, yeah, I'll start with these, kind of see how it feels, and then I can go to the shears if you want. It's your choice. It's your choice. You're very charming. <laughs> you know, you can kind of get dull around here sometimes. Um, and having you in was like a nice surprise. So, you should do it more often. <laughs> Not that you're going to need a haircut that often, but you do notice that you've got some facial hair going on. And 
we do offer shaving and stuff like that. If you want, it's up to you, your choice, but I can, I can do that for you. Yeah, I could do that today if we have enough time. I've got the nice stuff, you know, my, my boss makes sure we're stocked with good razors and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll clean you up real nice. Okay, anyway, <laughs> sorry. Let me, let me get on to the haircut. Where did you say you wanted it to sit? Cool. Nothing, nothing crazy. We're not <laughs> doing a butt cut on you today. Good, because I don't have those tools on me, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start out and you just tell me how you feel. Okay? So, um, yeah, tell me, tell me a little bit more about you and what you're doing in this area and what you do for work or whatever you feel would be interesting. I love hearing about people and especially new people, especially people like you, you know. What? I mean, like you don't know that you're cute and you're coming into a shop and <laughs> I'm cutting your hair and I have time to get to know you, so, you know, entertain me a little. Tell me about you. I genuinely like to know. <laughs> if you hear me talking too much, then I'm not going to be able to concentrate on the hair. So, you can do all that. <laughs> well, uh, I am kind of new because I did cosmetology school a little bit later in life. I just realized it was something I was interested in. More so than like the mundane, I don't know, corporate world. No offense if you're in corporate, but I've got purple hair, you know, it's not really for me. But um, I also really like it. I like how it makes people feel. I like how it makes me feel. So, just cleaning up around the sides of your face a little bit. Is that okay? Cool. But, um, yeah, okay. I may have insulted your job, but what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't really have quite the dig at you, but I've, that was insulting in any way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, actually that's really cool. No, I'm, I'm genuinely interested. <laughs> how did you, uh, how did you stumble upon that? Yeah. I think most people do, but as long as you love it, right? How many years have you been doing it? Oh, so you're practically a pro. <laughs> I mean, coming from someone who's just started. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm sorry, I promise I am concentrating. <laughs> How does, um, let me brush this out a little bit more for you. Then you just tell me how you feel and how it feels. How it looks. I mean, you look great, but how the hair looks. <laughs> And, um, sorry, let me just clean this up here. Trying to focus on my work. <laughs> Do a little, I mean, obviously my hair's much longer, but like feel it, make sure you like it. I know, typically I like you know, we'll give you like a head scratch and everything like that. Maybe towards the end if we have time, but all good. So what are we thinking about the shears? Kind of yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, I can just do like a little to lighten it up. It won't like really change the look of your hair at all. It'll just make you feel a little bit better. Yeah. You know, you can use less product on it. That's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> I promise I am looking at the hair and not just you, but you're actually really cute. I hope you don't mind me saying that. Oh my god, are you seeing somebody? <laughs> I told you my work here is kind of boring, but I don't just typically hit on strangers. Or just some, um, maybe you caught me on a good day, more social day. <laughs> well, 
Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I didn't go into the beauty industry for nothing, but I try to stay humble because all of my coworkers, everybody who works in this industry is very pretty, so <laughs> we're just good looking in general. And if not, we don't have great clientele because we don't have great credibility, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, on like bad hair days, I try not to, or I try and call out because, yikes, <laughs> doing other people's hair when yours is a mess is like, not what I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk your head off. You probably just came in here for a relaxing experience and you got me. <laughs> Alrighty, well, how does your hair feel? Pretty good? Not too shabby. Good, good. I'm glad that I could treat you right. <laughs> what do you say we do a little bit of the shaving? I promise I'll be tuned. Okay, yeah. We got fresh blades and everything. I can put on there for you. Brand new. No germs, no cooties here. And then nice shaving gel. I've heard this brand is good. I don't personally use it because I like the floral stuff, but <laughs> it's all personal preference. Let me clear off my station a little bit and then I'm going to pin your hair back so it doesn't get all up in the shaving gel. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> now I can see your full face. <laughs> I know that's why I like tuck mine behind my ears. It's really a nervous thing, but I do like, you know, I don't want to be all covered and shy. Why? I don't seem shy to you. <laughs> now you just you got me talking today, which I quite like because you're a good conversationalist. Have a foam, and I'm just gonna warm it up a little in my hands. Place it on your face, and then I'll get to it. Okay? Is there anything that you, any area you don't want me to get or clean up? Clean shave. Gotcha. Clean shop. Clean shave. Easy for me. No, I didn't even have to shampoo you. <laughs> but again, it's your choice. It's your choice. Whatever you want. I'll do my best <laughs> to oblige. Ready? All right, you're all gelled up. It is a gel, but I guess it's more like a foam. <laughs> gonna clean my hands off, make sure they're not all messy when I touch your face, and then I'll get in real close and shave a bit. If that's okay. I promise to be gentle. shave yourself or do you have somebody else do it for you? Because you did a good job. I can see like the hair growth patterns and stuff. No, oh, yeah, I noticed those things, you know. Learn it in school. But some people come in and it's clear they've nicked themselves like a thousand times before coming in and asking someone else to do it. <laughs> but I don't know, it feels kind of nice to have someone pamper you. I love being pampered myself. I don't know if you would call this pampering though. 
I hope you find it relaxing. Everything feel okay? I'm not being too rough or anything. Okay. <laughs> I try to be sweet. <laughs> I want you to enjoy it here so you'll come back and see me maybe. <laughs> well, you know, I work only certain days, but you can always book an appointment if you want. But if you don't need a haircut, you can always just come see me or give me recommendations of where you like to get coffee and maybe I'll bump into you accidentally. <laughs> Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take or something like that, so do you blame me? Alright, I have a wet towel here and I'm just gonna clean off your face, okay? Yeah, just get all the shower gel off it. Now you smell good. You smell like nice cologne. I mean, you smell like you smell great when you came in. I just... Anyway, <laughs> sometimes the ladies like that. Stay still for me for one sec. Okay. I know it's kind of nice, right? It's still pretty warm. It's like you're in a little Oh, have you ever had a facial? That's kind of what it feels like. Only, you know, there's no, like, cucumbers on your eyes or anything. <laughs> Next time I can get them for you if you want. Yeah, I'll treat you real nice. <laughs> Be happy. Alright, lift your chin just a little so I can make sure you don't have any residue. so as I'm coming, so hopefully we'll have a few more minutes to chat well, before I have to like clean up everything and prepare for her, but this has been quite nice. Alright, I'm gonna set you free, I'm gonna get out those clips, because I need them. <laughs> Can't take them home with you. Although, I should have let you take them home, because if you forgot them, you'd have to bring them back. For letting me be a little talkative and flirtatious. I, uh, it's not every day I see someone so cute and charming in the salon. It's typically just my mentors and older women who want their hair to not look gray anymore or something like that. <laughs> but you've been a real treat, so even if my little banter hasn't interested you, then. I hope it still, like, made you giggle, or you had a relaxing experience or something. <laughs> you didn't mind it. Well, that's nice. Well, if you wouldn't mind it in the future, I would love your number or something for coffee. Yeah, when we go check you out, I'll put it in the system, and if you let me, I'll write it down. That's for it, too. We're not supposed to take people's contact information from the system. That's like a privacy thing. <laughs> We're the crazy people. But, um, yeah. No, I appreciate it. And you've been quite nice. Just, uh, you know, get your stuff together, I guess, and I'll, I'll walk you over. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, I don't have to get your information if you don't want, but... I do kind of need it for the appointment to say that you've been here, so either way, you have to come with me, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, right this way.